Hello everybody, this is Tuesday, May 19th, which means that it's only eight days before my 40th birthday. And uh, welcome to another episode of the Coronavirus and Metro Manila vlog. Uh, normally, uh, me and my wife are supposed to be in New York right now to be spending time with my friends and family, getting ready to celebrate my birthday there, but you know, <laughs> life got in the way, or rather the coronavirus got in the way and uh, plans have drastically changed. So here I am in uh, BGC, the gig still, and uh, life is slowly kind of almost returning back to normal, or at least it's uh, starting to head that way as more stores are starting to open up. So a lot of the restaurants are starting to function now, but it's still kind of really weird because uh, the only thing that's available currently is just the takeout services and delivery services but at least they are being expanded now so that is a big positive uh, today i am uh, actually on a slightly different assignment than what i usually would be going out for i have to make sure i don't get hit <laughs> instead of uh, going to the supermarket to buy food i'm actually going to the globe store to uh, pick a bone with them because they cut off my service for non-payment yeah which is my fault because i couldn't really get out I've usually been doing payments in person instead of online because I, I wanted to use cash instead of my credit card. But the point is that after they restored my service, supposedly, it's uh, still not working. I still have no internet access right now. Uh, hi, Kuya. Thank you. Thank you. Bought us a vlog. <laughs> yeah, that was a mandatory check for the temperature. Uh, speaking of temperature, it's pretty warm out. And uh, I'm not riding my scooter because uh, it's also raining on and off. So I don't want to be caught in the rain riding my scooter. So right now I'm uh, headed to the mall, which supposedly is open already. And uh, some of the stores inside are also open as well. But it's kind of hard to say whether or not Globe is going to be operating. If Globe is still closed inside the market market, then I'm going to have to go to SMORA. Uh, which is another mall nearby over here. Luckily, it's uh, just a short walk away. And that one here is more open than uh, Market Market. I guess we'll just have to see how that goes. But yeah, look at that, lots of people already here. Life is definitely creeping back in. They have uh, these signs all over for people to keep their distance from each other. These can be found everywhere now. So here's another way that social distancing is being promoted over here. The benches over here, they have these signs. Skip the X, not to sit next to each other. So basically if people are going to be sitting on these benches, which doesn't seem to be happening much right now, because I guess they're a little wet still, uh, they'll be forced to sit apart from each other. So that's a smart idea. It really seems like here people are really respecting the social distancing rules and they're not cramping up on each other which is helping to stop spread of the disease i think it's one of the reasons why the philippines has a relatively low number of people that have been infected last time i checked which was admittedly kind of a while ago the number keeps on going up and up but last time i checked the number was only around 11,000, which for a country of 110 million people it's actually not bad so that's a very effective way to keep people safe. I definitely have to give them credit for that. So let's just head to the store and see what we can find there, all right? I'll get back to you once I'm inside. And I'm back inside. First time in the mall since February. Yeah, a lot of places are still closed, but life is definitely coming back to this place. Actually, wow, look at that. Looks like most of the places are still closed, but some select shops are already open, so that's good. I'm just curious whether or not uh, Globe Telecom is considered to be an essential business or not. I guess one sure way to find out because it's not like I can call them. It's not like anybody will pick up. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Oh, by the way, just uh, as an aside note, I actually had to show my quarantine pass before coming inside. The security guard was checking for it, so. It's actually the first time that anybody's asked me for that so far. Oh no, Globe is closed. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. Uh, I guess time to go to the SM Aura Mall 
and hopefully there's gonna be better luck over there. Well, the really nice thing is that at least uh, the fruit and vegetable stores are becoming open over here outside. So I wouldn't have to spend all that extra time waiting online inside the supermarket and uh, get a more locally sourced fruits and vegetables. It's probably a better option anyway. So at least now I have that open to us. Just have to take a walk from here to the SMR mall because unfortunately uh, market market let me down. That's a shame. Well, at least I get to explore a little bit more to see what places are open now already. And it looks like, at least on the outside, more places are starting to accept customers. It's very refreshing. Inside the mall though, it's still pretty abysmal. But I hear that SMR is doing better. I guess we'll have to see once I get there. All right, here we are at the entrance of SMR. Here they also have a queue line, but it's pretty short. Just got on here and uh, it's moving pretty quick, so it shouldn't take me too long to get inside. And I'm just curious how the stories are inside over here, if uh, there's more action happening. I guess we'll see in about a minute, huh? And here we are coming inside. Here's... Does it work? All right, thank you. All right, have to get the alcohol for safety. There we go. Thank you. Yep, my large backpack did not arouse any suspicion. That's good. Yeah, it looks like there's definitely more life happening over here, but not everything. Some stores are still shut. Oh, so nice to be under the AC. Oh, super humid out today. Oh, would you look at that? Food court is all closed. That's a shame. We have some nice takeout food over here. None of it seems to be available. About two thirds of the stores on the upper level seem to be closed still. Globe. Don't let me down. Oh crap, no dice. Globe is still shut. So damn, I don't know what I'm gonna do now because I really need to speak to these people. But this is what we have. Store is shut. So that's a big bummer. <sighs> I guess no internet for me for a while. By the way, I really should mention that this might be actually one of the last times that I'm using this GoPro Hero 7 Black. <laughs> The same camera that I've been using to film all my vlogs from the beginning, since about a year ago. Uh, it's the end of the lifespan, planning to sell it soon. And I actually am here to check in this camera store, in the electronic store, whether or not they might have uh, the camera that I'm looking for as a replacement. They do have some cameras, but yeah, Insta360 Go, Osmo Pocket, which is pretty cool. This one, Osmo Action, I was actually considering for a while. Here's the next generation. The one that I'm using now, I was definitely considering that, but I wanted to have a camera that is both of these in one shot. The GoPro Max and the Hero 8, and that's what the Insta360 ONE R would be for me. But it's not available here, so I guess I'll have to just keep looking. One really positive thing here is that the entrance to the supermarket is pretty much wide open. You don't have to wait online or anything. The line inside the store doesn't seem to be very long either, so that's pretty cool. Well, I have to say that shopping here at the SM supermarket is a much better experience than Metro because, wow, look at the line over here. Comparing to what the Metro supermarket has, I don't know how it is today though, but it's always been crazy long and here, I think I'll be done in no time at all. Well, also I'm not, you know, taking the opportunity to do too much heavy shopping. Some basic stuff, basically just eggs, tomatoes, potatoes, butter, garlic, onions and grapes. That's pretty much it. I don't have my scooter with me today. Just this backpack, which already has a bunch of stuff in it. So uh, I definitely wouldn't want to load up too much, but it's uh, very refreshing that I'm not going to be spending too much time waiting online over here. In fact, it looks like I'm going to be getting out of here just in a few minutes. Just need to get something for Chris from Mary Grace, some uh, special treat for her that she likes, and then I'll be heading back home. Well, that was a very unique experience. I never actually had this before. When I was buying eggs just now, uh, the lady at the cash register, she asked me if, uh, if I checked the eggs, whether or not they were cracked. That was kind of first for me. So apparently she does that to every customer. That's just really cool. Very good customer service here in SM store. Anyway, I'm done here now. And uh, now I'm going to go to Mary Grace to buy the special treat for Chris. And then I'll be getting out of here. There were some ensamadas, so. Chris is going to be pretty happy about that. My shopping experience here is done. I'm going to be getting out of here. Luckily, the 
backpack is not too heavy. So the fact that I don't have my scooter with me today is all right, not a big deal. Special shout out to Kim. You know who you are. <laughs> so this is really cool. Somebody's standing by the rail and it's constantly spraying down to wash it. That's a very good way of uh, disinfecting. Very cool, I haven't seen that happening in the uh, Metro supermarket. I really think that the uh, SM has a better quality of service for the customers and just watching out after the people. We have to definitely give them credit for that one. I'm going to close out this video right here. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And there'll be more videos coming at you from the Time Lapse Traveler.